Hello everyone, Eric Rogers here with Merchant Careers. I'm here with Julie Rowe, Gabe Asor, National Sales Directors, and we do have a special guest today, Marilyn York. So today is my favorite day, January. Here we are on the 8th of January, 2016. This is Testimonial Friday. And uh, Marilyn is a regional account manager just like you guys. Marilyn went through December just like you guys. So she's going to have a, a, a really nice uh, presentation scheduled for us today, and uh, we're just going to listen to her talk. All right, guys, so without further ado, this is recorded, by the way, uh, and we're going to have this in an area that is going to be uh, accessible you know, in the future. So uh, Julie, you go ahead, take the show. I'm going to mute myself and uh, take care of any questions that we have as well that uh, our current attendees live can answer. Okay, great. Thanks, Eric. Hello, everyone. It's happy Friday. Um, so we've got Marilyn on the line. And Marilyn, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay, great. So I just want to kind of ask you so you can share with people uh, why, why did you decide to become a regional account manager with First Direct Financial? Well, I was looking for a job that um, I would have flexibility of when I work. I have some volunteer things that are very important to me, and I wanted to be able to continue to do those. And if you go to work for an eight to five company, then you know you sacrifice those kinds of things. So this was exactly what I was looking for because I can set my own schedule and that was very important to me. Um, also, the other thing that I have become very excited about since I started um, working with First Direct Financial is the win-win of the whole thing. I like it when I uh, can sell a service to someone that helps them out and I get to be paid doing it. That means I get paid and they get paid. And I love that. It pumps me up. I really um, um, like the thought of that and it's very satisfying. Great, great. Oh, I love it, love it. And then you had told me that story once and I just, I really enjoyed it and I thought it was great how you overcame the objection. So uh, go ahead and talk about the meat shop that you were getting a, a statement from. Oh, tears of mine. First thing I did was do uh, some cold calling in December. I went to a local meat shop and I walked in the door and told them why I was there and they hit me with both barrels about how unhappy they were because they had had someone come through before me that um, made them very unhappy. And they had had a very bad experience with credit card processing companies. I just listened to what they had to say. That's very important, I think, is to listen. And uh, when they got through throwing all, up, all the smoke screens up, um, and telling me they didn't even want to talk about it, I said, I understand. I am so sorry that you had that experience. Um, I said, I know that sometimes our company buys out leases. I said, I can't guarantee they would do that, but we could sure check on it. And I said, it doesn't cost you anything to find out how much money we can save you, and I feel very confident that we can save you money. Well, they didn't. They wanted to say no really, really bad, but they didn't. And um, by the time we had got through with our conversation, they said, well, get back to us in January when we're not trying to get out all these Christmas orders. They had a lot of hams and things to get prepared for uh, customers. And they said, and give us a week's notice. Well, I felt very good. I got invited back after what I was greeted with when I came through the door. I came straight home. 
sat down and wrote them a thank you card, thanking them for even talking to me and for inviting me to come back. I explained that not all companies out there do business that way and that I had checked out this company before I attached my name to it and felt very satisfied that this was a good business to, um, for me to um, associate myself with. And so next week, I'm going to contact them for an appointment. Too bad I hadn't already done it, because I could tell you how it came out. But I just felt very, very um, honored that they invited me to come back. That's awesome, Marilyn. I just love that you sent them a card and, you know, they're going to know you. They they appreciated the card. They're going to give you that appointment. You'll get the statements. And I just love how you overcame their objections. You listened. You understood. Great. That's awesome. So I do have one other couple questions for you. Um, why don't you tell us about what how you're building your referral system? Well, um, I finally, uh, after doing a couple of cold calls and getting the same response um, from both of them, I decided to do what the, you trainers have been trying to teach us to do from the beginning, and that's call on people who know you. And so I started going to places well, where I do business. And I actually do business in that butcher shop, but I didn't. Uh, I don't do a lot of business there, so they don't know me as well. Um, but I started um, going to people that I know, and I started getting statements to uh, send in for proposals. Um, my plan for referrals is when I am able to um, get that statement and sell the proposal and get them to put in application, I will ask for referrals from them. Also, um, I might be on a, a different note, I use the fact that I have sent proposals in, and I use that information. The lowest proposal that I've re had returned is the 9%, and the highest one has been 38.6%. So when I go in and talk to a merchant, whether it's one I know or one I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's a positive. I can go in and say, I'm very confident I can save you money. I have received proposals back from 9 to 38.6% savings for the merchants that have sent proposals in. And to me, that's a good way to open dialogue. Um, to let them know that those savings are real, that that they can happen for them too. So that's um, kind of what I'm doing, uh, planning to just use the successes to build on more business uh, going forward. Awesome. That's great. And you kind of went through my next question. so. Um, I was hoping that maybe Eric or Gabe, it, did you have some questions for Marilyn, or do we have anybody in the audience that would like to ask her some questions? Because she's being very successful. She's coming, overcoming people's objections by just listening and, you know, telling them that she's got a local representative, which is a big, big deal for a lot of companies. They can't get their card connect process, their current uh, card processors on the phone to even answer a basic question. So when they know that they've got somebody local that's going to be available if they ever need anything, closing points. So you should be using that. Everyone should be using that, that you're local. Even though you probably will never have to actually do anything because Card Connect does have 24-hour, seven days a week technical support, they're going to help. And, you know, of course, we're number one in customer service. That's all good, too. But does anybody have any questions for Marilyn? You know, I'm seeing in the quotes, yeah, John Palomari, he's saying, hey, the fortune's in the follow-up. That's a nice quote. Yes. Uh, yes. Eva Miles yes. wants Marilyn for you to understand that great job. You know, some of these other 
uh, regional account managers need to hear from other folks on the floor. You know, now we've all done it as well, and it's it's not necessarily fun. But you're not going to get uh, you know a five thousand, six thousand dollar residual check uh, out having a good time unless you're you know playing bat or you're, you're an NBA pro or a you know a rock star. So uh, you know we're you will get this money. You're going to get that residual checks. And uh, Terry wants to know a question for Marilyn. When did you get started? With December. 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 Uh, yeah. So December is normally notoriously a pretty slow month in in our industry. You know, for the obvious reasons. January, February, March, notoriously pretty good months. Guys, you're here. You know, this is literally the first week back from the holidays and a lot of people are shaking off, you know, all the cake and the the hangover from New Year's, <laughs> you know, holidays, that type of thing. And uh, here's an example of Marilyn York in the field, you know, making it happen in December, getting getting January set up now. So again, do not feel like you're behind the ball. But this is the time, and this truly is a business where the numbers, you do not need to pre-qualify a business. If they take a credit card, that's a prospect. You know, basically you just need to find what the floor is. You know, if they're doing five grand a month or more, maybe that's your floor. You know, uh, go ahead, uh, Gabe, do you have anything? Uh, Julie, uh, because like I said, I'm going to keep track of the uh, questions here. It looks like we're getting a few more questions uh, for her as well. So, uh, oh, okay, uh, Vani had a question regarding technical support. Uh, yes, it covers the equipment. Uh, or just the processing, uh, they're going to absolutely help the uh, equipment. However, if they're going to purchase the equipment outright, the warranty, if there's a physical problem with the equipment, Vani, they're going to work with uh, Verifone or whoever that is with. But Card Connect is there. And as Julie mentioned, this is a great, great point to make, guys, is that you're there. You're local. You know, Maryland's a patron at that meet. Uh, company and uh, guys start there first you know where you go and physically use the card you may not know the guys you know you don't have to know them by necessarily first name or even who the owner is but if you walk through that door you're a patron and they like that you're local so you know card connect AAA rating Better Business Bureau they process for General Electric New York Times 50,000 other uh, merchants they're going to get A1 you know, customer service after the fact, and we're going to beat the rate. It's a nice one, too. So, uh, but that's great. That, thank you very much. Claudia wants a great job, Marilyn. Uh, writing, a, writing a thank you note was excellent. You know, and she always, Claudia is still, she's old school like me. Handwritten notes. I like those. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. So Marilyn, do you have anything else you'd like to advice you would like to give to any of our Rams that are listening today? We're up around 30 attendees already. So what would you suggest sure to somebody do. getting started? I sure do. And number one is, um, I think, overcoming fear. Um, a lot of us have fear about going out and facing that merchant. Um, when you're When you're starting out, and you're going to people who know you, it's so much more comfortable to start with. It helps you build your confidence. It helps you to um, experience some success. And, and it starts to feel good. And that really helps you overcome that fear. You don't win unless you get out of your comfort zone. And what they've been talking about uh, up to now, I have been selling the fact that I'm local. I have been listening to this advice, and I'm using it. Um, the equipment, I am finding that the merchants that I talk to are asking me about the equipment. They're concerned about EMV compliance. Um, I am also finding that the merchants that I'm dealing with are doing more research on their own before they're committing to accept the proposal. 
they're calling their lawyers, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're following up um, so that they feel comfortable. And um, you just have to be patient with that. Um, and then um, just be a problem solver. Be their partner. Um, let them talk about what the problems they are having, because then you know what to present to them. Uh, I am ready for this uh, meat shop because they express several concerns, and through the training, I have obtained the answers that they need, and I'm ready to give those to them. Um, so the training is important. Uh, you know, get get on every day if you can, um, to because we're creatures of habit. We need uh, we need the repetition. But do what the trainers recommend, uh, and don't fear it. it uh, what are they going to do? They're not going to hit you. The worst that can happen is they can say no. But you need <laughs> to get you yeah. need to get pumped up about the fact that you're out there. You're going to save them money. My goodness, what a noble thing to do! And then you're going to get paid for being uh, there for them. It's, I'm just pumped. I love it. I love the company. I love the opportunity that I have been given to sell financial services for First Direct Financial. Thank you very much. Wow, Marilyn, awesome. you're awesome. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, and, and that's the whole thing, guys. Be confident. You've got the best product. We wouldn't give you a thousand dollar check behind you. I know some, you know, Claudia has come across some people that are not really, you know, they're telling her, well, I'm not interested in the thousand dollar guarantee. Give me a rate. Give me a one rate, you know, and that's where, you know, you need to understand. And Bonnie, we had one of these uh, today too. Anybody doing a one rate, if they ask you for those rates, there's a lot of stuff stacked in those one rates. That's why we kill them and we actually pull the curtain aside so you can see how much money we can really save you uh, with the interchange being equal, that type of thing. So that's why we need your statements so we can show you that those one rate, one rate programs are really not in your favor at all. So this isn't something that simple, that, but we're going to go ahead and put it together and compare an apple to an apple, but have confidence that you guys are running around with the wheel. You guys have that. You guys have, be confident. And uh, the folks who have never done this before outperform the guys who have been in the business, you know, three to five years because they've already talked themselves out of uh, certain situations. They may have been over-trained, over-coached. This is really fairly simple. Um, yes. And this is something that you all can do. You know, you guys are over here. Be confident you've got, you're this guy. And these are your business people. I swear to you, I know you're gonna you're gonna get a no quite a bit. You're gonna get no's, but guess what? You're gonna get that residual check. Own your backyard. You're gonna get a piece of every credit card and debit card that's run in your area. They might as well start shuffling off pennies to you, dimes to you, nickels to you. <laughs> right? It's your backyard and uh, they should pay you accordingly. So uh, does anybody have any other questions for Marilyn while we've got her on here? This is outstanding. Uh, uh, as far as that goes, yeah, Claudia, again, great job, Marilyn. We've got some folks saying this is really nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, and Eva, yes, yeah, if, if they're buying equipment, uh, leasing equipment, if equipment's involved, they're still gonna get Card Connect service. Okay, and then the equipment is, you know, warranted through Verifone, et cetera. Okay, that's why a lot of people, guys, uh, regarding the equipment, uh, leasing, they get the white glove service. So now if you're leasing equipment, you know, they're, they're, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's not as cheap as buying it outright over the long term, 24, 36 months. However, if they, you know, if it's included with that, that's like a buy, okay? So we want to make sure everybody is aware of that. Now, I would, I do want to take time for a small, let me pull this over, uh, something that's brand new that just came through. 
Okay, this came through with a, a big meeting that First Direct Financial had yesterday, and that is when you guys have uh, accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put my cursor here. I just want to do a co-pilot house cleaning. And this is great news because this is going to speed up your quotes. And this also tells us that they're trusting you in the field uh, a lot more now. Okay, so now, as you know, you go ahead and you start an account. So this is a business, okay? This reminds me of Breaking Bad every time I see any, uh, you know, <laughs> super awesome place, you know, polo uh, thing, the t television show. I'm not sure if anybody has seen those. So this is a business that this guy, uh, our RAM in the field, Mr. Garcia, went and got statements. Now, this is important now. I think a lot of us have been uh, omitting this part of this, and this is what has changed. So when I put my cursor, see this right here, we're going to go nice and slow. When I put my I cursor here it. and, ex yes, can oh, you guys that? see this? I can't see it. This is Are you guys? I can't see it. I can, can see, you see it. Can you see Copilot? Okay. Yeah. Because right here, I'm just going to leave my uh, arrow here for us, okay? So uh, I've got a drop down. And what happens is you're going to see the flow of your account, your actual uh, prospect, and the flow of the paperwork. Initial contact, what does that mean? That means we just met him, and I know Gabe does an outstanding job with this. Uh, awaiting statements, this means that the merchant has said, yep, I'm going to get you statements. Now we're awaiting. I need you guys to come in here in these blue circles. You need to move them. Now, this is the important one, preparing proposal. Once you have downloaded or uploaded, however you want to look at it, once you've uploaded those statements from the merchant, it's important that you do this step now. Do you know why? Card Connect now, every 15 to 30 minutes, is going to monitor your Copilot account. Remember, this is not something that's here at Federal or uh, First Direct Financial. What they're going to do is if they see this is brand new, they're going to go ahead and start your proposal or quote. They're going to get it ready for you because they know it's already in the attachments and it's ready. They can go ahead and assign this to someone instead of you contacting us. Now, if you're comfortable, still do it. That way we can follow up on it. But in other words, Card Connect is comfortable with you going ahead and submitting this directly from your tablet, from your co-pilot, if you get those statements. So we don't have to put another set of eyes on them for you. Okay? Now, if you want us to look at them, that's great. If you want to notify us, hey, Eric, I've got statements in Copilot, and here's the business name, you can still do that. But the, this is something that's brand new. If you upload these and you're actually using this section of that particular uh, business, you're using this and you move the blue circles, I wish they were a different color, uh, but blue right here, preparing proposal. They will monitor this for us and start your quote. They're going to upload it. They're actually going to move your account over here to proposal complete. So once you get your proposal back from Card Connect, it's going to move for you. And now you're going to close the quote. Now we're saying, do you want to do this or not? Now we're going to start preparing the application, and you want to move this over. In other words, how do I do it? How do I move this? You just simply come in, and you can uh, point and click. Left click, right? And you can just you just keep it moving forward. Here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. Now I'm going to prepare the application. When that's waiting and we're awaiting signature, you can move it on, and then Card Connect's going to take it from there. But this is brand new, guys. So if you upload merchant statements, then what you want to do in your copilot is make sure that this preparing proposal, right here, third, third, third one over. Let me circle it. This is why we've got tools, is so we can use them. See, cavemen. I'm I'm evolving. Some some women out there say men have, have you know, we're evolving a lot slower than the women, and I I have to agree sometimes. So we do have tools to use, and uh, national sales directors, Gabe Asor, Julie Rowe, Eric Rogers, we're a tool for you guys in the field to use 
preparing proposal. If you go ahead and move this over and you've got those documents attached to your uh, file, they're going to look at it right now and get you your proposal a lot faster now. Okay, that's going to speed everybody up. So uh, if you've got questions on that, we're, we're going to do this pretty much on every uh, presentation. You know, Monday is a pretty good one. Tuesday is specifically regarding the CRM, the co-pilot. But uh, we wanted to bring that to your attention right now. So if you have statements that are in your co-pilot, you want to, you don't want to have initial contact and in progress. See, if this is in here, in other words, that status says initial contact, that just means that you added that in there. If they're going to say that they're, if they tell you they're going to get you statements, then you need to move this to awaiting statements. If you've got statements, you need to go ahead and change that. See right here, great job, uh, Claudia, of course. Yep, great job right here. So in other words, this pharmacy has told her, yeah, I'm going to get you some statements. She doesn't have them yet, and when she has them, she's going to change this status again. How do you change that status? Because now it's important. Now it's not just some arbitrary thing, place to go where you can keep track. Now Card Connect is keeping track of these for us, and if they see prepared, preparing proposal, they're going to pull it right from your file and get you a quote right now. All right, guys. So that's pretty much all we had today. Marilyn, thank you so much for being here, uh, and uh, we really appreciate it. And then uh, let me see. So everyone can see that. John, thank you much. Uh, uh, how do I get to the notes for each merchant? Okay, so if you're getting notes, see, this is going to keep the flow. This is where you keep the flow of these. When you want to get to the notes, we had a question in Copilot, edit application. Okay, when you edit application, where do I put some notes in here for my benefit? What you can do, and again, this is where at a glance you would use those other options, uh, but you should be able to come down here and uh, note. It's under lead information. Yep. Lead information. I can put notes. Yeah, exactly. Well, I can put notes here too for myself. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So you can put notes, and this is also for the applicant. You know, if they've got equipment needs, specialty needs, you can throw those in there too. And Gabe, where's another place to put notes? Oh, it's uh, right here where it says uh, lead information. Got Under it. attachments. There you go. Lead source, follow up. What am I going to do? Put some dates in here. So you've got a couple places you can do do this. And again, at a glance, a great way for you to, uh, you know, look at you look at all of the, the the leads that you have in your copilot. A great way to do this. See under status. I see a lot of these in here that just say initial contact, but we actually have statements in. We've got quotes. So again, to go ahead and move this through. So at a glance, you can go through your leads. You want to use these, this uh, pre-sale, the initial contact feature, and just keep it moving. Okay, point and click. And the big thing in here now, guys, when you select prepare proposal, man, now Card Connect is monitoring this too. So now, you know, remember we have the step where you contact your national sales director. Yes, I've got them in. That was, that was by design because we were looking at your uh, merchant statements to make sure we had all eight pages. We, we made sure it was clear enough to see, you know, go ahead and keep continuing to send these in PDF, not JPEG. But when they see this at Card Connect, they're going to go ahead and start moving you, and so you can do this a lot faster. So that is, a, that is a great thing for everybody here. So let me go ahead. I'm going to stop the recording. And then uh, what's going to happen is this will get posted. Uh, we're going to dog ear this one so we can uh, make sure it's up there all the time as well. And remember, every Friday is our testimonial Friday. This is the, the best day of the week uh, for more reasons than one. But at the same time, everybody that's attending this, everybody that's uh, watching this as a recording, uh, we want to reach out to you and get you on here.
That's the goal. Okay, so help us do our job. Use us. Contact us. Email's the quickest. Uh, but we want to make sure that you guys are not getting discouraged out there. And Marilyn hit it right on the head. Listen, no, no doesn't mean it's over. You know, it, there's there's really nice ways to do things. You know, the thank you note, handwritten. Man, that was awesome. Thank you for your time. You know, people don't get that anymore. So uh, we really appreciate Marilyn, Julie. Thank you very much, Gabe. Thank you, and uh, guys, we'll see you Monday, same place, same.